and welcome to another episode of Cyber and You. My name is Keith. Today we're going to go over how to install a Linux distribution on your Windows 10 operating system. Now the term for this is WSL, which stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. The first thing you're going to want to do is click the Windows App Store on your taskbar, or you can search for it over here to the left. Now we're going to look up WSL. All right, as you guys can see, we have a variety of distributions available, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use uh, Ubuntu right here. I'm gonna click that. Now, for you guys, if you guys have not already downloaded it or hit the Git icon that would be um, present here instead of install, you guys can go ahead and hit Git, and then it'll say you own this app, as, as shown here. And then what you can do is you're gonna hit install, but before you hit install, you're going to have to enable a component that is um, by default not enabled on Windows 10. So if you guys were to try to install that and launch, it would prompt you with an error and tell you exactly where to go. So you would go here. It's HTTPS stocks, Microsoft.com, and this is a Windows WSL install um, subsection. And what you want to do is run this PowerShell command right here. So they've made it rather easy. Just go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. We're going to open up PowerShell. I'm going to right click, run as admin. Whoop. All right, um, go ahead and just copy that command right in there. It's going to enable the Windows optional feature and it's the Microsoft Windows Subsystem Linux. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so it's showing that it's already online because we have recently enabled it, but for you guys, it's gonna show something completely different. It would say online true, and you would actually have to restart your PC once you enable this um, optional feature. So if this has not been enabled for you before, go ahead and restart your PC. After you restart your PC, you can come back to the Windows App Store. You can hit install or launch again. Give it a second to, to download if it hasn't already downloaded. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit launch up here. As you can see, Ubuntu has finished installing. It is now prompting us to enter a new Unix username. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can name it whatever you want. Next, you're gonna enter a password. You're gonna retype that password. All right, there you have it. You have successfully installed a Windows subsystem for Linux on your Windows 10 operating system. If you enjoyed this video, please like our video tutorial and subscribe to our CyberNU channel. Thank you very much for watching.